What's up, dude? Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is, it definitely is a true crime case, but it has to do with TikTok, which is very interesting. Um, let's just jump right into it. So I don't know how many of you guys have heard of Dr. Catherine Roxanne Grah. She was going by Dr. Roxy on TikTok, but she has since removed her TikTok account because as of Wednesday, she lost her medical license because she she was live streaming surgeries that she was doing and like answering questions while she was live streaming a surgery. Now she was warned that there was a possibility that she could lose her license or have it suspended because um, of uh, doctor patient confidentiality and like the board was really concerned like what if you know one of these patients gets mad because their privacy was compromised. And, um, she was warned in October 2018 and September of 2021 so clearly this has been a long running issue that she's been dealing with. Um, she has now, like I said, had her medical license completely revoked and she is now prohibited from practicing medicine, but she does have 15 days to appeal the verdict. She said that her husband has left her, her kids have been harassed at school because of this, because of her social media presence and this lawsuit, or I guess not lawsuit going on but um the fact that her license has been revoked Catherine claims that the whole reason though that she was live streaming these surgeries was to educate people because she was answering questions and that was like her whole thing was oh I just want to educate people and I want to teach so bad it's like girl get a classroom if that's what you want there was three different patients that complained about having complications with their surgery one person had an issue with their intestine and that was a surgery that was partially live streamed on TikTok. So on Wednesday when she spoke to the board, she opened the meeting with a statement saying, I ask you from the bottom of my heart to please consider my thoughts with an open mind. This has humbled me more than you know. I am willing to change my social media practices and I will never live stream a surgery again. However, one of the board members went back and said, we've seen an extreme lack of professionalism. Her posts are done as a marketing ploy. Dr. Gra's social media was more important to her than the lives of the patients that she treated. She has had her license suspended since November of last year as well. So it's like, this isn't something that's a total shock to her. She also had to pay a $4,500 fine, which like, girl, if you're a surgeon, Okay, that's like not a lot, but at least it's something. She's kind of being held accountable. Catherine got her medical degree in 2005, and then she was certified by the American Board of Plastic Surgery in 2014. So it's not like she's new to practicing medicine, and she should know the you know, patient confidentiality and their privacy concerns. Like, this isn't new stuff to her. It's not like she just started um, performing surgeries. So that's kind of what's going on with Catherine McGraw, Catherine Graw. Her, her TikTok has since been deleted. I couldn't find it. I was going to look and see how many followers that she had, but yeah, it's not there. Also, when you Google her, her clinic like pops up and it says that it is now permanently closed. Um, she said that after she got her license suspended in November, she had to lay off 20 employees, which it's like, okay, that is really unfortunate for them. Like she knew what she was doing and she was warned twice about it. So I don't know why it almost seems like she's acting shocked because of this. Honestly, I think it's a miracle that only three people have come forward and been like, hey, I've had complications since surgery, but that is is it for my video today. Let me know what you guys think about this. Were you guys a fan of hers? Did you enjoy watching her live streams? Did you watch her videos? Do you think that the board was justified in revoking her license? Do you think that there really was no reason for it? What are your guys' thoughts and feelings? Because personally, I feel like there's no need to live stream a surgery. If you want to watch a surgery, there's TV shows for that where people have consented to it and it's done in a way where the person and performing the surgery, the surgeon isn't answering questions and being distracted by a cell phone. So 
that's how I feel. Um, if you guys enjoyed this quick little video, be sure to leave it in the comments down below as well as giving it a thumbs up. And if you would so choose to subscribe to my channel, if not, totally cool. Every now and then I do like doing kind of controversial people and like TikTok drama kind of. It's fun for me. I think that these, even though they are very serious and it is a crime, I think that they give me a nice little break from the true crime stuff because I can start to weigh on you just a tiny bit. So thank you guys for watching and I will be back on Monday with a new video for you. Bye guys.